Hello YouTube and welcome back to episode number 14 of our Pokemon Black and White Versus. And as always we're joined by the Fossil team. Hi guys, how's it going? And today's episode, we should be going through the Twist Mountain. <sighs> it could take a while. <laughs> we may be here I hate Twist Mountain. We may be here in episode 15, but anyway. Also, if you missed out on the last episode, go check it out. Let me plug it. Plug it. Great. We've both <laughs> got a gym badge, spoiler alert. But anyway, before we begin, quick party recap, as we always do. First up, I've got my boy Rick, our Pampor, Relax Nature, holding that lucky egg, level 32, with Billy Gluttony, rocking Technoblast, Bike Scold, and Acrobatics. Yep, first up for us, we've got Glitch, the Lax Nature, Porygon Z, with Nasty Plot, Side Beam, Signal Beam, and Recover. Next up on my side of the screen, we've got our boy Crayola, our Dredigan, Relax Nature, once again, holding no item, with the Billy Ruskin, rocking Revenge, Chip Away, Crunch, and Dragon Claw. And we have Checkmate, our Hasty Bishop, with Attack Order, Faint Attack, Fly, and Metal Claw. Next up, we've got a boy Lippy, our Weeping Bell, which is also Relax Nature, on that Life Orb, rocking the Billy Claw for a rocking Vine with Energy Ball, Fly, and Sleep Powder. And speaking of Relax Nature Weeping Bells, we also have a Relax Nature Weeping Bell, Flimsy, holding the Meadow Plate with Vine Whip, Fire Punch, Acid, and Sleep Powder. And last up, not least on this side of the screen, we've got our boy Susie, our Timid Patrat, level 21. 21, rocking Billy Keen Eye, rocking Sand Attack, Crunch, Hypnosis, and Super Fang. Yeah, we've got Dreidel on level 36 hip on top, also Relax Nature, holding the Pyapa Berry with Rolling Kick, Attack Order, Pursuit, and Quick Attack. And then finally we have the Jirachi Slayer itself, Sir Derp, the Timid Quagsire, holding the Lucky Egg with Frenzy Plant, Mud Shot, Slam, and Mud Bomb. Okay, are you ready to start this 30 minute Twist Mountain episode? <sighs> as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> 3, 2, 1, start your engines. Right, gotta get out of this gym. You're still in the gym? Crazy. Yeah, well, I finished off when I was speaking. I had to get through all of her text. Oh, yeah. oh God, it's Zen. It is Zen. He doesn't want to. Does he want a battle? No, he doesn't. Not yet. Oh, anyway. good. How does this Porygon Z know my life story? Because you've had it for ages. I mean, I really haven't. But <laughs> is it just? I don't know what your longest served mine is. Is it? Um, I don't even know anymore. Longest serving Mon? Ooh. Uh, Weeping Bell? I think mine's Weeping Bell. Might as well. be. Because I lost my starter. I remember I lost my Ho, which was the uh, the gift as well. Yeah, I lost my Hydro as well. How do we even get to Twist Mountain? Like, do you have to go to, like, the. Have you done the stuff at Celestial Tower? I'm guessing it's, like. Oh, I think I, I, think I know. Maybe. What should we just go? What should we get lost before we even get to Twist Mountain? <laughs> yeah. Wait, how many potions do I have? I think I'm gonna need a few. I've got 20 high potions. I should should be all right. You should be okay. Should. All right. I think I know which way I'm going. Yeah. I also could be horrendously wrong. So. I think it's this way. Oh, well, it must be, because the cross transceiver was ringing, so well, story. Story stuff. Story stuff always means you're going the right way. Oh, Relic Amp. No, I do not want to butt you, Mr. Juggler. You sure? Positive. Alright, Twist Mountain. Oh, no! Is it Sharon? Yeah. Unfortunately. Rip. And he's got a hunch crow. Nice. It's Fedora. <coughs> yeah, unfortunately. Uh, let's get a special attack raise. No. Fortunately, glitch coming. Ooh. Wow. Uh, I've just realised how much of a problem a hunch crow actually is for my team. You have a. Uh, have... I mean, yeah. I could say you have bitch up and it could have superpower. Uh, I mean, if it has superpower, then. Oh god, it's nasty potting. If it has heat wave, I'm probably gonna die. Yeah. I think that's a TM though. Uh, um... Dark doesn't resist dark. At least I hope not. I think I not. I can't remember. Uh, oh yeah, it does. <laughs> uh... <laughs> so I'm now plus two attack and confused. And he's now plus two special attack, so... Rip. If I hit myself and he uses a special move, I'm probably going to die. So it's, it's fine. You got this. Yeah. 
Oh, I don't hit myself. Okay, please tell me this Honchko dies from that then. It does. Nice. That is a Torterra. Is it Torterra? Yeah, um, I might just have to risk ground move. And I hit myself. Oh god, I forgot I was confused. I forgot I was confused. I don't know ground move. Oh, leech seeded. Okay. Have you already done this battle or are you like in it at the moment? No, I'm not there yet. Alright, so I'm ahead of you at the moment then. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Oh my god, no! If this doesn't kill, I'm dead. If this doesn't kill, I'm dead. I'm dead. Am I dead? You dead? I don't know. Oh, the fly killed, thank god. So I clicked fly. Yeah. And the Torterra decided to click earthquake. So luckily enough, I was in the air at the time. <laughs> um. I really don't have a whole lot for ground types until Quagsire decides it wants to learn a water type move. It's got frenzy plant. Oh, I do have frenzy plant. You're right. Thank you. <laughs> right. I was say. When does when does Quagsire learn? Like, actually, when do we get surf? Like last gym or the next gym? One or two? It's one of the gyms. Can't be that long. I've seen two gyms left. Yeah. Is surf not like a requirement in this game or something? I think it's Elite Four. I'll need four, Victory Road. Yeah, so fun fact, by level up... Oh no, that's the wrong generation. Uh, oh, it's still exactly the same. So fun fact, by level up, Quagsire does not get a water type move until level 53. Which is? Muddy Water. Nice. <laughs> so not even like a fantastic one, it's like 85% accuracy. <laughs> oh, that didn't kill. I was hoping that was going to kill. Oh. oh, I've already had to use one of my hyper potions, so... That's always a good thing to do. I'm just gonna... This is gonna be overkill, but I don't want it dead. I want this dog trio dead. Trio, trio, trio! At least I know he's got a Huntail. Not that that helps me much, because I don't really have much for a Huntail. Actually, I've got a Weeping Bell. There is another one. No. Well, I get at level 36, when I get one more level up, I get Earthquake on my Quagsire, so that's something, even though I am a minus attack nature. Oh dear god, that is a power. Oh, that's a high level. I am feeling very under leveled right now. What have you got? Leftovers? Oh, interesting. Okay. Ah, that's probably gonna kill. Yeah, by Weeping Bell. Am I the Weeping the Weeping Bell God? Yep. The true yep. Weeping Bell lives on. <laughs> uh, this hunter decided it wanted to ice fang me. It was clicking dive. Like I wasn't expecting it to go for. I knew it had the potential to have ice fang, but I didn't think it was actually. Actually, no, it might have replaced it. That's the thing. It might have done. It had Ice Fang like really early on. Um, well. Okay, if you're gonna dive me, I'm just gonna set up, because I um, might as well. You might as well. I'm just gonna miss any move I go for anyway. You right. But yep, yeah, Flimsy is down, unfortunately. Wow. Well. I am down to four mons. <laughs> Same here. So, yeah, I am really stuck when it comes to ground types now. Even more so. No, oh, but now is not the time. It's always the time. What's he giving us? Oh, surf! There we go. I wanted surf. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All gives it to you after your battle against Sharon. Nice. I mean, I've, I don't know what, 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 so, what my team can benefit from surf apart from because uh, Rick's already got um, Scald, so I don't know. 
If any of you uh, I dropped down. Oops. Oh well. Oh, that would have been. Actually, no. I think we've already. Yeah, I think we already saw that in the last episode. The Monferno was here and said I get a Moltres that I can't catch. Yeah, you're right. That was not fun. Right. I wish there was a PC in the, that place, but uh, in the house that heals you, but unfortunately I don't think there is. No. Right. As I'm down to four mons, I'm not feeling confident, so I'm going back to get some more healing items anyway. Yeah. I don't feel confident in taking on Twist Mountain with four mons and like... I mean, I've got 19 Hyper Potions, but if I get like a really problematic battle, like most of those are going to be gone. Yeah. I can't believe how powerful this death box is though. Mine's nearly f like half full. Like mine is the most powerful thing ever. There is like a, a Sigilith, an Entei, a Ho-Ho, a Luxray, all in the death box. Is there anything that I want to add? I've already got I've got three normal types. I'm not adding a Ledian either. So no. Ooh, nice. <sighs> right, I hopefully I'll get a good encounter in the uh I'm going to get 10 more Hyper Potions. And I might get some more Ultra Balls now, actually, because... we got an encounter coming up. You right. And I want to be able to catch whatever it is, because I'm down to four months and I need whatever it is. I'll watch it be something garbage now. Watch it be something like, I don't know, an Emolga? I'd take an Emolga right now, to be honest. <sighs> Come on. An electric type or a grass type would be nice. Because otherwise I'm going to have problems with water types. Why is there a shaman on this route before this um, freaking mountain? Why? Hey. I wish I got that. Shaman's awesome. I know he's Mr. Shaman fanboy over here. <laughs> he literally drafts it every season of everything. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Apart from the ABC, they were... The, the, they put it into the into uh, tier two, and I didn't think that was worth picking up. But you know, wait, I didn't heal. Oh God, I did not heal. Speaking, uh, speaking of ABC, there's a uh, Um. Okay, I did not heal. That is a problem. Rick is coming through right now. Yeah, I'm glad I swapped out. Oh. Jesus Christ. Um, I've got a problem. Go on. I think that's game. I think. I think I've, unless Quag, yeah, I think I've lost. Why, why have you lost? Everything. Um, I have now, I have three mons that are all weak to a balloon because it just crips sky up, cut my hit on top. Hit on top down as, get as well. I have a Quag side that dies to a grass attack. I have a Bishop that dies to a fighting attack and I have a Porygon. And I, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. Because I forgot to heal up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hope. If he doesn't have a grass type move, I might be all right. Well, but what are the chances of that? Nightshade, what are you doing to me, Macro? Oh, okay, I see you. You see him? It just count. It just click counter. So it's got counter, mind reader, sky uppercut. It might not have. It's got to have to surely. It might something. not have a grass move. It has counter mind reader. Scarp His last move is force palm. Yeah, his last move is force palm. So. No. Paxton is apparently the balloon counter as well. <laughs> Ah dear, I'm glad I stopped off on potions though. Good job I'm doing a bit of grinding I'm so for right now though. Ah. I think before the next episode we might need to do some grinding. Hella kid. Oh I didn't mean to go there. God damn it. Oh well, I could have just stayed in with Quagsire. Oh well. I didn't mean to I tried to frickin' this city, I meant to fly to the other one. God damn it. 
Oh, of course I got a fly. Why did I run all the way back from Twist Mountain? I've got a flying bishop. Exactly. Why is everything critting me in this game? Like, I don't get it. It's all, all holding scope lenses. This Elica decided it wanted to crit shockwave me after my freaking Hitmontop got crit sky uppercutted. Well, okay, so I'm now down to a team of three. You really? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yep. Well, I just found another I fossil, so I'm going back. Oh, God. I am not happy right now. Come on, be power, be power, be power, be power. Please, Please don't be power. Mr. Fossil Guy. Please don't be power. It's a Tropius. That's not power. I mean, it's better than the Pampor. No, you can't disparage Rick like that. I mean, if you'd said Patrap, maybe, but not not that not that you're Pampor. But granted, you do need to get a stone to evolve it. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where I'd get one of them stones from. Well, this death box is even more power now. Hit on top's gone in it. It's level twenty-five. Nice. Yeah. I did a heal up this time. Looks like it. Right, I'm just gonna need to hopefully Right, this is what I'm gonna do. Sorry Quags, I'm gonna take your lucky egg, I'm gonna give it to glitch and I'm hoping that the two of those can just like sweep through this place next place for me. Actually actually I could give Quagside the meadow plate now that Weeping Pal's gone. Meadow play quags are new meta. <laughs> right, I'm gonna buy some more I mean, potions why not? before I. Or I could just give it. No, no, even better. No, even better. Never mind. I'm giving it soft sand. All right, there we go. All right, well, I get an encounter at least. That's always nice. Hopefully, something powerful. Not. Honestly, at this point, I'm just hoping it's. I just, just anything that I don't already have, like. Hopefully not a normal type, I've already got enough of those in the box as it is. I might just need to grab all my normal types and just like die to fighting types. Yeah. That was a Hitmonlee. I mean I can't catch it because we've got an account here, but that's not the point. Alright, Twist Mountain. What is my encounter going to be? Oh no, I want my encounter before I speak to Sharon. Right, here we go. Survey says... I wanted a grass type. That's not bad. What is it? It's a bay leaf. Bay leaf! It could take ages to catch that. Mm, probably. Oh, oh, my special attack rose. I didn't want that. I've got um, super pals. What am I doing? What am I doing? Right, this thing's level 29. And I just got a special attack boost. So, I'm going to have to hope it can't live a faint attack from Bishop. Because that's the only move I've got that's not going to kill this thing. It would probably take a Metal Claw, but that would take so long to wear it down with Metal Claw. And I might get attack boosts. Which isn't good. Not in this situation, it's not good anyway. Oh, the Cross Transceiver Dragon. I'm just going to have to hope I can catch it from this range. Nope. Oh god, its moveset looks garbage as well. At least it's got magical leaf, I guess, but... <sighs> so far, its moveset is Synthesis, Natural Gift, and Magical Leaf. Why is a Meganium? It's a defensive monster. It just doesn't do anything, attack-wise. <laughs> and Reflect. It has Reflect. You see? Them get squad goals. What do you have, Sharon? Sharon has a Bidoof. Let's go. One, two. Yes, we got it. Thank God. Bay leaf. This bit of that bay leaf. All right, I'm just gonna switch train this thing because I need it as high a level as possible. Did I just speed tie with a Bidoof? What is this? Right, so... 
shell gone. Nice. One of the few dragon lines that doesn't get dra dragon rage. Get dragon breath though. Right, I'm going to take the lucky egg off you. The lucky egg on you. Ooh, Crayola's strong. Where is the lucky egg? Oh, it's probably right at the top, isn't it? There we go. Uh. Right, the faster, the sooner I can get a meganium, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Meganium. Oh, Sharon has a Venusaur. Let's go. What have I got for a Venusaur? I'm gonna have to stay in. With Drodigan. Are you in Sharon right now? Yeah, like Sharon right now. Yeah, yeah. No. Right. I need to heal up because I don't know what this Venusaur wants to do to Crayola. I'm nervous. Oh, I should have got repels. I should have got repels. Oh well. Worry seed. Oh no, my rough skin is gone. Whatever will I do? Oh, well, there's an item there. I want the item. If it's a drive, I'm going to be so annoyed. No, it's charcoal. Petal dance Venusaur on a dragon. That shouldn't do that much damage. Okay. For that fire type that I do not have. Why oh, there's a. Tr uh, do I want? Ah, oh, fine. I'm going to take on all the trainers I can in here. I think. It's probably a bad idea, but I need levels. I'm going to be here a while. This Venusaur's got leftovers. Oh, nice. <laughs> Oh dear, that's a Magmortar. Oh, I got a crit, never mind. Um, my team's very fire weak now as well. I, do, I mean, I guess I do have a. Uh, I've got a Quagsire. But. Oh, I didn't put Surf on Quagsire! Radicate. Oh well. Hopefully, Raticate can't do that much damage to Lippy. I Crunch. mean, it's eradicate. Okay, energy ball, sh life orb energy ball should kill, please. It doesn't. Nice. Has this got leftovers as well? No, it's got a citrus berry. So Crunch did 44. Oh. I'm not risking that. I'm not risking. I don't want a double weeping bell death on this episode. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> yes, please. Crunch again. If he gets a defense drop, I need to switch out. Oh, he got the defense drop. Look at that. I called it and it happened. <laughs> Only problem is, though... Uh... Rick. I'm going to have to risk it all on Rick. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe I might be able to stay in on this with, with time. Oh, with my bay leaf. That would be nice. It's a Kabuto. He crit me. Right. It's level 36, but I'm risking it. Oh, it's got in jaw. We okay, should have a crunch with Lippy now. So go back and heal. There we go. Bailey 40 getting its first kill. Nice. Must, must be nice. Right. Oh, you've also got a Huntail. Now I know you've got Ice Fang. But, so I'm going to switch out. I want the level, I want the experience though, so. Just don't crit Raticate, it should be good. You didn't. Nice. Okay, Sharon's down. Brine. I think. Oh, yeah. If he is, Man Forest is down. Right, I've got to be very careful now then. If this, if this thing gets me below half health, I do not want to take a Brine. It's older. Hello. Alright, I outspec. Are you serious? What now? It froze me from an ice fang. <laughs> <laughs> like what? These things happen. Frozen solid. Well, that's great. I've got a frozen bishop. Just what I wanted. Uh... I'm gonna have to hope Glitch can finish this off then. Let's see if I can one answer before I fly back. Are you kidding me? Has this thing got a serene grace or something? It's just frozen my Porygon seat now as well. <laughs> Are you actually kidding me? Because Skull's base 80, so that's base 90, but I get, get burned with Skull's. So... You know what would be nice right now? Having Skull myself, so I don't have to worry about these stupid freezes. 
I swear to God, if this thing freezes my Quagsire. I've got Whirlpool, do you want that as well instead? It didn't freeze Quagsire, thank God. At least I've got something that can cure freezes. Then freaking Rangers should be helping you out right now. I let me hope so. Right, we get <laughs> Earthquake on... Is Earthquake... Uh, it might be more worth it than Slam. Yeah, we'll get rid of Slam for Earthquake. And I'm actually going to teach Quagsire Surf now as well. Jesus Christ, why is Huntail a big problem this episode? You would do it saying, oh no one voted for Huntail as your starter. See what you, where you would be with a Hunter right now. Ah, uh, God, right, Quagsire, you're learning Surf. In fact, I might just teach nearly everything Surf, because why not? Hmm, Mud Shot or Mud Bomb? Mud Bomb's more powerful by 10 base power, but it's less accurate. I can lower speed with Mud Shot. But I've got Earthquake now, so I might just get rid of my bomb. I'd rather be able to lower speed, I guess, and have the accuracy. Huh. In fact, yeah, I might just teach everything Surf, because why not? Twist Mountain, I was a trainer battle before then. Oof, okay. Hello, Mr. Hiker, sir. <coughs> you have a Licky Licky. Yeah, literally everything apart from Bishop is learning Surf right now. <laughs> well, your special attack is learning Surf. Yeah, which is everything apart from Bishop. <laughs> right, please tell me I've got barriers that cure f uh, freeze. Ah, yeah, oh, I've only got one. I've only got one Aspir Berry. Uh, right, okay, who do I want to unfreeze then? <laughs> I'll unfreeze Porygon Z because I think Bishop can take more hits. So I've got more chance of getting that thing unfrozen. Yeah, it's probably. Do I have anything else? Dango Licky Licky. Torchic, Rick. I might give, I might give the uh, Chopperberry to Bishop. Actually, Chopper, Chopper. Wait, base HP. Oh no, I don't even have anything in the medicines that can like heal it. Well, I'm just gonna have to go with the frozen Bishop then. That's fun. Right, first encounter in Twist Mountain. Please don't be power. It's going to be... Something. Have I got a super pull up? I might have a super pull up. I don't have a super pull up. My first encounter is a... Wish Cash. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. We both, have, we both have water ground types. I have Rick. Damn. I mean ground types but This thing's bad. level 4. Why is this thing level 40? Because it's... That's what I want to know right now. Oh, right. This is scary. There's magnitude. Yeah, I know. You talk about freaking scary. Magnitude water pulse. Let's go. I'm against the level 40 Togekiss. Speaking of Serene Grace. <laughs> Serene Grace is here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, why did I Metal Claw? You're not fairy type yet. No, oh, like no. You. No, that was a big mistake. Wait, wait. Come on. Come in clutch. Come in clutch. Nope. Bye, Bishop. Bishop that gone. was fun. It's got Aura Sphere. Yep. It had Aura Sphere. Yeah, that's what cooked my aggro on in Pearl. <sighs> Not even the Chopperberry could save me. I thought that might have come in clutch, but apparently no. Oh no, 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 no! It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Oh, it's not worth it. That did zero. Why is Quagsire so weak? Because the Quagsire. Yep. Oh, Quagsire's only got one. Jesus Christ, this thing's gonna be an issue. Right. How do I beat it? I'm so underleveled right now. I need to avoid trainer battles. As much as I said I need to do them, I need to avoid them. Oh, he's trying to go for the pro plays. He's trying to go for the extreme speed kill when I'm on 1 HP. Oh, wish cash, why? <sighs> Sky attack, that's fine. That gives me a free turn. If they can never chip away, I'm gonna catch it. Because it's wrecking all of my team's wish cash right now. I don't appreciate it. Alright, let's just. God damn, I hate this Toga Kiss right now. Yeah, I'm not risking that. I'm going to run away. How much Screw sky that. is that going to do? Screw that. Oh, okay, you crit me. Okay, bye, Quagsire. Oh my god. My team's literally been obliterated this entire episode. I haven't lost anything this episode yet, it's crazy. 
Uh, I've lost most of my team. I now have a really underlevel Bayleaf and a Porygon Z. So, and that does nothing. And you've still got Aura Sphere. I think that's GG. Is that GG? Yep. Porygon Z is down. Yep. Game over. Lock over. Have you still got Bayleaf? Level 30 against a level 40 Togekiss when it's got Air Slash and Sky Attack. Yeah, okay. Okay. Maybe mean? if I'd have clicked Reflect then I might have actually lived, but... It's still got Air Slash. Oh, Bayleaf actually very nearly pulled through. It crit it, but left it on one HP, but Sky Attack's going to take it down. That's it. T game over. You blacked out? Yep. Have I won? Everything's dead. Everything's dead. Everything's gone. I am speechless. <sighs> yeah. After all my Maybe. deaths. <laughs> Level 40 Togekiss just wiped my team. It had the perfect coverage. Like, I, I couldn't hit it with anything. It's a good job. I read the comments of last video and went to get some stones and get some experience shares during that episode. Yeah. And get some encounters. So, that is... Well, to be fair, I would, uh, my team isn't that bad. Like, I've got a level 36 Quagsire and a level 36 Porygon Z. If it didn't crit Sky Attack my Quagsire, I would have beaten it. Yeah. Literally, if it did not crit me on that Sky Attack, I would have beaten it because I'd have just healed back up. It might have gone for another Sky Attack. And I know I can live one because I already took one. And I lived on, like, one HP, but that was when I was, like, or I'd already lost health at that point. Yeah. Like, this was a crit Sky Attack from full. So... Yeah, that's it. Well, the time's going off. So that is... Well, <laughs> that's ironic. An unexpected ending to black and white. I've come away with my first W. Look at that. Yep. Look at that. And my best one on my team right now is a Drudigan. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. If I, I mean, if I had a Toe Kiss, I would have... Well, I've got a Drudigan, that's about it. Yeah. I've got an Emolder, I don't have... A, I just... Five. The fact that it had Aura Sphere it meant Porygon Z couldn't do anything against it. Bishop couldn't do anything against it. Yeah. Like I said, Quagsire would have done. Quagsire would have pulled through if he had got if yeah if he hadn't uh, crit that Sky Attack. Yeah. We'd still I'd still have Quagsire, Porygon Z, and Bayleaf alive right now. But... Mm -hmm. So. Oh well. That's a unexpected ending to the Black White versus. Um, so on Friday. As in two days' time. <laughs> yeah. I've got to start a new. St <laughs> I need to get new. St okay. Got two days to come up with a new idea. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be fun. So, if you guys have enjoyed the black and white verses, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always down below. I'll leave a link to Dean's channel as well in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next week. I mean, it's on Friday. But this. <laughs> this I probably won't. <laughs> probably not. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye-bye.